Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we ended things off in the Essex Hotel where we have come to find out more about Julian, the most recent victim of the Arkham Stabber. So in between episodes, I found this page from the Essex Hotel register that I think I was given by the concierge, but I did not read, so I'll do that now. The proud concierge, Etienne Lafayette. Yeah, that's the guy. Has herein kept a meticulous record of the lodger's names, origin, arrival, and departure times. So I guess he asked them where they were from? Interesting. Oh, and I guess it's significant. Julian Perez from Boston, room 303. Keelan O'Neill, I guess they're all from Boston, 303. Salvador Barbosa from th uh, in 304, and Abel Freeman in 304. Wait, 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 sorry. Uh, I don't know why that double clicked. What the? Oh, oh, I know why. I need to click on this, that's why. Um, are the other names significant? Dorothy White in 103? Wasn't I just there? Maybe. Oh no, it's the one below where I believe the two courtesans just went in, I think. And then there's William Frank in 204. John Garrick in 403. Uh, wait. Both Salvador and Abel are dead? So, I guess we can only find Keelan O'Neill. Really? Oh, they found their dead bodies inside of the room. Right, right. Yeah, I think he mentioned that. And then Edward Caldwell from Connecticut in 203. Gotcha. Hmm. I don't know if those other names are significant, but uh, sure. Let's try going to 203, I guess. You can hear someone, probably a man, sobbing behind the locked door. Can we knock? The person inside shouts, Leave me alone! Okay, sure, be that way. Um, then 201, where hopefully it is not filled with dead bodies or something. Or maybe it is filled with? Uh... Well, I mean, it doesn't look explicitly like a dead body. Um... There appeared to be... I don't know, uh, ladies' garments? Some sort of vuvuzela, or maybe a candle, or maybe some sort of, like, um, sex toy? And a shield, sword, and a staff, or the staff of Hermes Trismegistus himself. Fantastic. Well, before I check out the occult symbol on the ground, let me look at the other containers in this room. Ah, wait, the manuscript of the Spit of Al-Razi. Uh, conceived at the improbable junction of alchemy and humoral uh, theory, this venomous spell uh, shockingly asserts the extent of medieval Islamic transmutation magic. Really? Wait, I think, um, doesn't the outsider already have that spell? I think he does. Yeah, the spit of Al-Razi. Gotcha, so how do I use this? Uh, where is it? Is it... Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess we need to research this while I'm camping. Okay, yeah, sure, I can do that. Sure, why not? Uh, yeah, let's also investigate this, um, this cupboard. Fantastic, I knew it. It's like my grand poobah always used to say, if you ever enter a hotel room and there's occult symbols on the ground with, like, various sex toys and, uh, women's lingerie just strewn about, always check the bedside table first because you never know if you might find a tea can spaghetti or something. Uh, can I look at it? Oh, wait. Why can't I look at it? What the? Okay, I guess I can just interact with it then? Whoa! Cultist robes and a note to Agatha Christie herself. Some instructions on a handwritten note concerning some ceremonial robes. Okay. Do I wear the cultist robes? This robe bestows an aura of gravitas and mysticism upon the wearer. Unlike my frock and coat? Come on. The fabrication of this robe was somewhat rushed in order to accommodate the ever-growing ranks of the uh, new cult converts who became instigators of doom at the expense of their own free will. So I guess you can wear it? Ah, nice. I guess it works as some kind of like uh, disguise then. So what's this note to Agatha Christie? To Agatha? You shall not, under any circumstances, remove these garments from this place of storage, not even for cleaning, 
It's essential that you heed this instruction, for their untimely absence would create a seriously inconvenient situation in consideration of my duties for tonight's ceremony. J. Obviously written by J. Jonas Jameson, the most beloved character in the entire Spider-Man universe. Fantastic. So I guess they don't want me to remove the cultist robes. Well, sucks to be you, good sir. Sucks to be you. Doesn't seem like there's much else I can really interact with, so I guess let's... Um, a rather unnerving occult symbol has been drawn on the floor of this filthy and disorderly room, constituting the evidence that the, its tenants could have had motives other than mere self-indulgence. Right. And I guess you can use my occultism for this. Some kind of a ritual took place in this room. You may decipher the purpose and meaning behind it. Sure. Your careful scrutiny suggests that a sex magic ritual. Wow, wow, we wow. Ho ho ho, I can get behind that kind of magic, if you know what I mean. Anyways, um, suggest that a sex magic ritual was conducted here, a pragmatic attempt given that no child has been born since the Black Day. Oh, I see. So maybe it was some kind of like ritual to get um, both the man and the woman pregnant or something whilst they're having the uh, time of their lives in the uh, middle of that um, occult symbol. Gotcha. Something strikes your interest amid the fetish objects laid on the floor. I've gained Venus of Willendorf. So, of course, this is the ancestor of Venus Williams herself. Um, or not. Some say that this figurine uh, fertility of a fertility goddess was reputed to heal those who touched it, while others claim that the Blessed Ones underwent considerable de behavioral changes by the cycles of the moon. Oh, so maybe it... Causes some kind of lun lunacy then? Hmm. So I'm assuming it's another relic then. I see, I see. Cool. Okay, um, anything else? Or are we good to go? I think we're good to go. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Where hopefully we can find more rooms filled with awesome stuff. Knock on wood. And not death causing stuff. So this is the third floor. And I guess it can't go up the fourth floor then. So, 303 is, I think, where we need to um, investigate for Julian's identity. Because I think that's where he stayed. And what's the other place again? Was it 302 or 304? Um, it is 304. Gotcha. So, that one. I guess we'll start with this one then. Because I think that guy is still there. I think Etienne said something about um, the room being occupied by some dude who can drink Copperhead or something. This room is much cleaner than and in better repair than the rest of the hotel. It doesn't take a detective to deduce that Etienne makes this place his home. Wait, so Etienne rented out his own room? That sounds odd. But sure, what's this? Oh, got some lockpicks, fantastic. What's in this vanity? What do you got for me, sir? It's locked. Can I lockpick it? Um, how do I use lockpicks? Do I equip it? Do I put it up my butt? Hey, I'm not- I'm partial to putting up uh, lockpicks up my butt. Come on. I guess I don't have the subterfuge skill for it then, right? Yeah, okay, fine. Offer special actions to characters that can that can be performed on certain interactable objects and NPCs. Gotcha. So I just don't have the skill for it. Cool. A useless key. What is this? Simple key with an unknown origin. I'll take it. And what's inside the dresser? Hopefully more dead bodies. Come on. Dead bodies, please? Nope. Raw opium. Not bad. Not as good as dead bodies, but I'll take raw opium when I can get it. Etienne Lafayette strives around the clock to keep the hotel beds in acceptable condition, but the plainly stained and scarred furniture in this room leaves a lot to be desired. Well, he's trying his hardest, and Fabrosi is exhausted from having investigated Etienne, uh, having investigated Etienne's uh, bedroom or bed rather. Wait, how does the layout of this room work? Because I'm pretty sure this wall should be pointing towards room 303. No, hunger suppressed. Oh wait, am I running out of rations? I think I should have three left, right? Yeah, I should have three left. Gotcha. Um, I don't know if I want to bother the guy in room, room 303. I kind of get the feeling that 
if I say the wrong thing, he's gonna shoot me in the face and then the, it's game over. So I'm gonna investigate room 302. Maybe I can chuck a grenade through there or something. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it's some really... Okay. Well, this is terrifying. Uh, outsider? As soon as you enter the room, the outsider turns a cautious, a cautioning look upon you. As a creature who has spent almost all of his existence in such environs, I say with complete certitude, this place is haunted. Okay, is there something specific I should be worried about? Like, maybe, um, the dick butt drawn in blood or ketchup? Whoever or whatever entity is bound to this room, let us hope we do not become the target of its wrath from beyond the grave. Alright, well, thanks for the warning, I guess. Okay, um, I'm not gonna get haunted by looting this place clean, am I? Oh, wow, wow, wee wow. The top hat and the gentleman's coat. Fantastic. Wait, should I be wearing this stuff? Hmm. Let's see here. Anything specific or notable about this? Top hats are typically associated associated with male males of aristocratic descent, recognizable by their high crowns and short, straight brims. And the gentleman's coat. A garment for both men. Uh, for men of both wealth and taste, this gentleman's coat would typically be custom tailored for a perfect fit. Ah, it's perfect for Fabrosi. And what greater gentleman is there in this world than Fabrosi himself? I guess we'll try wearing this for a little bit just to see if maybe things change. I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming it's just um, like a costume or whatever. Oh, geez, I thought I was possessed or something. But I think I like double clicked or something. Yeah, all right. The Book of Law. Crowley prophesied the coming of the Aeon of Horus within the Book of Law, which served as the purveyor of the Lemma, a new chapter in the moral and spiritual evolution of men. Can be read by esoteric characters while resting to gain more sanity. Oh, hell yes. And the Blood Circle, I think we already have that spell. Pretty sure. Yeah, Blood Circle. Both by Fabrosi and uh, the Outsider. Gotcha. Um, let's look at this. The clinging dampness that pervades the room has embrittled the frame of this enormous bed. It's not that big. I mean, it's fairly sizable, but I guess we'll do some occult stuff with it. Even without your knowledge in the Forbidden, you would have felt that something is wrong with this room. It is clear that an undead entity inhabits this cold, dank place. Would you like to summon the spirit? Um, can I say no? Uh... Wait, I didn't consent to that. Hey, I didn't give my consent to summoning a ghost. Oh my god, it's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, that stabs me. Um... Oh, the medium. <laughs> the entity that you just called from the beyond from beyond the veil has now materialized into the figure of a man wearing anachronistic clothes, seemingly from the Victorian era. The ghost's aura emits a tangible sensation of angst and distemper. I said no room, sir! Shouts a hollow, trembling voice. What must a gentleman do to get some privacy? Um, I'm not room service, I'm the one who summoned you. Who are you, spirit? Who are you, spirit? No one. At least, no one of any caliber. Just a drunk, bankrupt businessman who is spending some time at a hotel in order to have some peace. Cold wind blows over your face, and you're ruining that exact moment of peace. I warn you, sir. Leave this room at once, or I'll make you leave. A dusty object in the room begins to tremble of their own accord. I am your master. Bow to me. <laughs> no. Spirit, as your summoner, I, Fabrosi McCortez, bind you to this realm until you do my bidding. You observe the ghost sensing the power and truth of your words. Pushed around in life, pushed around thereafter, what you require of me. Examines your clothes with distaste. You silly man. Silly man? Do you see not my, do you not see my fucking top hat and gentleman's clothes? 
Unbelievable. Maybe I should have just kept my, um, my, uh, cult clothes or whatever. I want you to hunt the, haunt the man next- Oh, shit! Oh, whoa! So, okay, so I can do this to, like, I guess drive the, uh, dude out of there. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Uh, I want you to hunt the man next door in room 303. The manifestation's ectoplasm, uh, a byproduct of the summoning, thickens before your very eyes to an almost oozing viscosity. This I will do! But if you bother me with anything else, you shall learn what mis makes a dangerous makes me a dangerous man. I had nothing to lose in life. I have nothing to lose now. Go, oh, unleash your sexy ghost vibes upon the man in room three hundred three. Oh shit! Did I check the bed? Maybe I should have checked the uh, bed for ectoplasm. This place is damned. Oh god, I gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I'm so happy that worked, holy shit. Alright, well I'm assuming there's nothing left in that uh, place, so... I guess we'll find out uh, what's in room 303 then. Well, okay. Mm. A few cigs. Coca Vin Marie. This addictive tonic is highly stimulating thanks to its composition. Premium Bordeaux wine with a dash of coca leaves. The beverage of a choice for a Pope Pius the tenth. Really? That's hilarious. So when we drink this, we gain we temporarily gain three action points, three uh, reaction, five sanity, panic immunity. Nice. And addiction rating is medium. Very cool. Mm, what's in here? You sigs and Julian's crumpled note. Originally intended for Julian's fiance Maria, this unsent note documents the extent of the desperation which had overwhelmed the dead man after the Black Day. Nice. Etienne Lafayette strives around the clock. Okay, I see. Oh, so it's not necessarily his bed. I see. Okay. Read this. My eternal light Maria. My once thriving hopes have been dashed, leaving only despair. The shadow that devoured the city prevents us from reaching the outside world. We should never have come to this godforsaken place. I should have never said yes to this wicked deal. Please know that I did everything to have a better life with. Here the neat script is interrupted by angry scratches. Julian continues. What the hell is the point? I've written the same things again and again, but none of my letters will ever leave Arkham. They had, There they lay unread in the in that damned post office where they will never stay forever. Where they will stay forever. Oh sweet Maria, I will never see you again. Please forgive me. Hmm. I don't know if that's significant, but it does seem like his handwriting gets a little worse in this paragraph. Right, I guess it's, he got angry or something. Okay. Anything else to investigate here, or are we good to go? You know what, I'd say let's get the hell out of Dodge. Sure, why not? Alright, so... Do we need to do anything else here, or... Uh... What, I, what should I do? Oh, go to the post office. Great, and we should also talk to Richter. To find out, find the other three members of Julian's group. But they're deceased, though. They died in room 304 or something, no? Hmm. Oh, look at that. Okay, what's... <laughs> the cesspool of Arkham, you say? Okay, great. You know what that um, kind of like mini travel map reminds me of? Fallout, they had that same thing. Where um, every location you go to, or most locations you go to, have like this internal um, travel system or whatever. Mm, Carrie and Jack, right? Yeah. So he killed Betsy Ross, I think. Right. Huh. Maybe I should have spoken to him first. But, not gonna lie, I was genuinely terrified that he might stab me, or sh shoot or stab me in the face, or maybe both. Maybe uh, stab me with a gun, or shoot me in the face with a uh, knife. Mm. Now, I am exhausted, so maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some rest. Uh, should I... Maybe buy some more camping supplies, or should I just rest in the hotel? Uh, hotel's like 40 buccaronis. So, I think probably resting outside is a better idea. Mirror Fragment. 
Do I sell this or do I keep it? I'm assuming we can sell the ba baby rattles, yes? No? Okay. What about the useless key? Oh, there's no, um, there's no denotion of uh, money there. Handmade rattle, non-craftable, so I guess that's garbage. Sure. Yeah, I would think that the screws and springs would come in handy. But, um, sure, let me get some 3-6 for that. Anything else? Got a fair bit of raw opium. If I can get some... Whatchamacallit? Herbal medicine, I could possibly produce some... What's it, uh... What was it called? Laudanum, that's it. But yeah, let's rest up before we head out. Because I don't know if... Or should I wait until we're a little bit more exhausted? No, we'll rest now. Because I have some occult research to do. So, medical research. We can research raw opium. Do some occult research. On... Oh, right, right. Hmm. Let's... I'll have Fabrosi do the spit of Al-Razi. And then we'll do some... I don't know if anyone needs any psychological treatment. The Book of Law. Well, my sanity is not that low, so I think one rest should be enough to um, get that up to snuff. Since I don't know if um, doing that is going to result in me completely losing it permanently or something. And you can do some research on... you don't need to do any of that stuff. Let's do some research on St. Vincent's Waxen Hands. And she can do some more research. Medical treatment, don't need that. Do some scouting, I guess. I suppose that's good for now? Yes, I suppose that's good for now. Sure. Rest intro- Oh no! What? Why? Who? Hobos? Oh god. It's the ghost. He's come back. Fuck. Oh, we are literally being attacked by... I guess gangsters or something. Oh jeez. Sir? Arkham Resident? Should we just book it? Hmm... Man, there's a lot of fucking dudes. I'd say Sonya... Maybe... Go after this guy. Wow. <laughs> Gun did not do a whole lot of damage. Sure. Um, you know what? I think where you are now is probably good. We switch you out? For a shiv? No, it's fine. Can you reload? That takes two turns. I guess we might as well then. Sure. Oh jeez. Fuck me. Wait, so I do I still get the rest? Or is my rest fucked because these assholes decided to attack me? I guess we'll find out, hey? Jeez. Maybe I should have just stayed in the hotel. Hopefully I still get the result of the rest. Otherwise I'm gonna be pissed. Alright, let me do some... Spitting on these bastards. Who's this guy? I guess someone significant? Or is he? Can I do the spit of Al-Razi on... Hmm, who's this one? For that one. Go for it. Whoa! That's cool! And it, it seemed to have affected all of their sanity, too. Alright, um... I could get him down here to try to attack him, but I don't think that's gonna really work out, so why don't you just defend yourself? Oh, and I think he's taking uh, damage over time from the spit. Right, right. Stop throwing rocks, you assholes. Good grief, man in pajamas. <laughs> what a bastard. Hmm. So far, we're not taking a whole lot of damage. Knock on wood. Except they're bashing uh, Sonya's face right in. Mm, for Brosi, I'd say use your gun. Sure, because I'm pretty sure that's going to do more damage than your stupid uh, pistol or whatever. Oh, we should also start using uh, more spells with Fabrosi. That's going to cost 8 AP, 10 HP, and 5 Sandy. I see. Uh, that doesn't protect everyone though, does it? It only protects the person casting the spell. Okay, so I guess the outsider gets to go first. 
Let's have you... Hmm. I guess... Kill this guy off. Fantastic. And can you do another spell? Evil Eye. Uh, reduce combat capabilities and an increased chance of critical failures. Or should we go with more... Spit of Alrazi? Hmm. No, you know what? Whoa! Very nice. Good job, dude. Rip his face right off. Stop throwing rocks, sir. Jeez. Didn't your grand pooba ever tell you not to throw rocks at three um eclectic uh, people resting out in the uh <laughs> out in the open streets of Arkham? The fuck, man? Okay. Okay. I'm glad that Sonya's a little beefier than I expected. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot him. Wow, really? Raising shot of zero. Good grief. And I'd say let's reload. Oof. Uh, is there like a place that we can go to escape now or... Shit, I think I should have shot the other guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were building up to something there. Let's have you go here and then turn around, please. Or can you not? Combat abilities. Trick shot. Oh, I see. Can you turn around, Sonya? Thank you. Okay. Just defend then. This way, we at least we won't have people attacking us from the back or whatever. Jeez. Bunch of bastards. Ah, uh, Fabrosi, I thought you were just gonna get a graze. But no. No high reaction this time. But, I guess it's unnecessary. Go for it! Fantastic, that's another asshole biting the bucket. Mmm... I don't think we can use the spell right now, so how about we just... I guess we should try to fight the old man here. Yeah, we'll rip his face off. a boy. And Sonya... Maybe we should have you switch out. But... No. Go for this guy. Shot him right in the face. Nice. <laughs> Barely doing any damage. I love it. Oof. Damn it. Man! They really is just wait wailing on Sonya. Well, thankfully, both um, Fabrosi and the Outsider should be able to do some doctoring, I think. Oh. Fabrosi? Mm, should we have you switch out? Yeah, I don't want to lose too much ammo. Man, that was underwhelming. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, Fabrosi. Go ahead and turn around, and I'd say defend. Doesn't seem like the... Blue hexes have come out yet, though. Hmm. Hopefully, we'll get through this. I guess maybe when we're ambushed, at, that when we're resting, we don't get the opportunity for a progressive escape. Fuck. They're really messing up Sonya. All right, who's up next? Uh, the outsider. Let's have you finish his ass off. Or damage. Very nice. What? How dare you, sir? Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny to watch him in his um, gentleman's uh, uh, what's it suit and also the uh, top hat and whatnot. Sonya, I don't know how good you are with a shiv. You can possibly do a little bit of damage, but I'd say just continue on with your gun, because you are the marksman of the team. There you go. Another asshole dead. Uh, and you're good for now. Hmm. So, I wonder if the defense makes them miss more, or does it lead to more grazing shots? Huh. If only we had more tooltips. Alright, for Bosi. Go for the shanking. Thank you. Wait, so do you know the spit of Alrazi too? Oh, you don't. So I guess they haven't um, yet benefited from the rest. Low reaction from Pro Ferrosi this time. Alright, so who's this guy? That's that dude. 
That's fine. Old Man McGee is now dead as shit. And the escape route is now open. Um... What? Is it disappearing? What? No, why is it disappearing? Oh, jeez. I guess we'll try to make it to the escape route if we can. Hmm. Alright, sir. That's enough wailing on my face. Also, what's the shield icon? Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's try to just get the hell out of Dodge here. Uh... I think it was one of these locations, too. Go for it, Sonya. Retreat? Oh, they all have to retreat that way. I see. I see. So, Forbrosi, Forbrosi should be able to reach that, too, I think. Um... I guess... Those are defensible locations, but it seems like maybe we get the benefit of the defensive location just by standing there? Alright, outsider, get the hell out, and now it's just for Brosi. Oh, they shouldn't be able to reach him and also take a swing, I don't think. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like this game has any attacks of opportunity from um, buggering off or away from them. Oh, we gained a little bit of angst, though, which is unfortunate. Party successfully executed a progressive escape. Maybe should have actually fought them off. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Oh, look, we've actually healed up a little bit. Okay, so we still get the benefit of that, then. I see. So we gained a little bit of sanity and health. Uh, made progress in the occult research of the manuscript of... Spit of Al-Razi, so I guess we haven't completed it yet? Oh, that's the progress. Oh, I see what they mean by the slower um, research rate for uh, that stuff. Gotcha. So, we've discovered the power of St. Vic Vincent's wax and hands, and Sonya's a little worse. Look at these guys just standing around as if nothing happened. Unbelievable. Did you not? I mean, they were obviously party to the whole beating me off thing. But, um, they're just pretending that uh, we're all just friends and butt buddies now. Unacceptable. Uh, loss of seven health. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, we're a little shorter on that stuff. So what does this do? Increases natural health regeneration rate. Really? Okay. Then maybe we should give it to Sonya? But wait, we don't know what the malediction is though. So maybe I should hold off on it until we find out more. Oh wait, do we still have another camping supply? Hmm... I did buy two, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Alright, so maybe next time we should try to rest in the uh, attic of the... Um, old eel, instead of resting outside then. Alright, well, good to know. Alright, well, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and we will, I guess, uh... Well, what else do we need to do right now? We need to... Oh, we need to go to a Richter. Um, to help him with the Phantom Pain. And then we also need to go to the post office with the unsent letters. Great. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.